Today we're going to show you how to screen print custom neck tags and remove the, the sewn in tags that came with them. Coming up. Welcome back everybody. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I have my screen ready to go. And I'm doing sizes small through 2XL. And I have them set up in a way towards where I can use the same screen. However, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up flipping this screen around so that way I can use, basically take full advantage of the screen and all the real estate that the screen has. That way we're not wasting product, emulsion, film, and all that. So let's go ahead and dive right into this tutorial. But before I do that, let me show you the screen real quick. So as you can see, I have a couple of my sizes here, a couple down below. On the inside of the screen, you can see that I do have some tape over some of the, the neck labels. The reason why is as I'm printing and ink tends to go over these labels, you kind of want to be able to see how you're setting up your next label. And by taping it, that is going to allow you to, to be able to remove that tape and you'll be able to see where you're placing your screen. I have some center marks here and that will help me align each one of these up and there's a couple different ways that you could set these up but I'll show you how I like to set it up for smaller runs bigger runs we would do it a little differently and I'll explain that here in a moment and before we get on press I want to show you guys something we do have our shirts turned inside out reason being is I do tend to like to flip them inside out and then load them up onto the press and print the tag upside down normally how you would screen print your t-shirts however you can print them right side up and not even flip them inside out you can just load the shirt straight up with the back portion of the tag everything right side up and print it that way I find that it's easier using this method here because we're able to get the shirts on nice and straight we've even seen customers of ours bring shirts in that are from custom ink and they're slightly crooked and the reason is they're using that method where they're just loading the shirt up instead of flipping them inside out and loading them like you normally would with a screen print so let's go ahead and get this screen set up on press and we'll load it up with some ink I'll show you what ink I am using okay so the first thing I am going to do is I am going to set my press up to do the small prints and this is one of the reasons I like to do it upside down I can have the collar hang off here and I know that I have this distance here from the collar to where the printed tag is. You don't want it too far down, but one of the issues that can come up is if it's too close to the collar, you're not going to get a good print because your squeegee is just going to kind of ramp off of that collar. So I'm just setting everything up and I use clear scotch tape in this instance just to make things a little easier. Make life a little easier when setting all these tags up instead of doing it afterwards. So we have everything all set up. Now the ink color that I am going to use is a gray and I like to use gray for even black and white runs. Reason being is if you happen to press the ink down a little too firmly you do not want it showing through the back side of your t-shirt that won't look good at all so i tend to use a gray this is just a custom gray that i mixed up it was a uh, spot process cool gray and this is, is the same gray that i use for spot process printing but also like to use it for my neck tags as well so i'm going to load a little bit of ink here a little bit up just below the tag. I got my squeegee ready to go. It is a four inch squeegee. I'm gonna go ahead and load a shirt on and show you how I go about doing this. All right, I got my small shirt ready to go and I'm going to load this thing straight back and I'm just centering it. Hopefully I'm not in the way too much. I am just centering it up onto the pallet. I'm going to pull it straight back. I wanna make sure that our tag is fairly center with our center line here. Sometimes they do sell these tags in a little wonky, so you can't always rely on that 100%. And I'm going to let my collar hang off just a little bit and kind of push that tag down. I'm going to flatten everything out. Now keep in mind that you do want to make sure that this tag here doesn't end up falling down into your print. One of the advantages to actually printing your shirt this way, if we were doing a larger run, we would do it towards where the art is right side up or, or right reading, however you want to word it. And then we can take that tag 
and we can just push it back and tack it onto the pallet. But for the sake of this smaller run, we're gonna take the shirt and just load it on straight. And like I said, we I personally like to do it this way because I get better results getting things just absolutely straight like they should be and just push that tag out the way. Generally, I would recommend doing a test print first, but we're just going to go ahead and run with it. I'm going to use a pull print so I'm going to flood it up, and you don't want to press too, too hard. You just want to press just enough to get that ink to clear your screen. And there's our, our first hit. It's looking pretty good. However, I think I'm going to hit it one more time. You don't have to absolutely do a solid, solid print on your, your inside neck tags, but in this case, I'm going to hit it again. See if we can't fill in some of this knit here. This is a all style shirt that we are printing on so it tends to be a little more open of a uh, knit so to speak so that's looking pretty good looks like we could hit it just a little bit more right there and i think i'm going to use just a little more pressure just to make sure i clear my screen and there we go that looks pretty great. All of our details are still here. Let's go ahead and toss this on the conveyor dryer and we're going to do another demonstration. So we're going to do this one more time. Again, we're loading it up, making sure it's nice and straight. And we're just going to lean it off the edge here. We're going to pull this tag just back just a little bit. Make sure it's out of the way. Now I'm going to bring my screen down. I'm going to flood it. Again, you don't want to press too hard, otherwise it can go through your shirt and show up on the back side. And that is a pretty acceptable screen print for a tag. However, I kind of want to fill some of this knit up just a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and do it again. A lot of times we do end up printing shirts with just one hit and it just kind of being a light print. So you don't always have to completely fill this knit in, but in this case, I'm going to. Just because it's the all style and it has just a little bit rougher of a t-shirt texture, so to speak. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. All of our details are still there. It looks like we might have a little bit of lint underneath our screen so i think i'm going to hit one more time just to fill that p in a little bit do that without losing some of our details here and that looks pretty awesome so we're going to take this and put it on the conveyor dryer and then i'll show you guys how to remove this tag here the original tag that's sewn in without ruining your shirt And I'm going to cure this just like I would any other shirt, print side facing up. Just want to make sure that you have enough clearance from your element to your t-shirts, that way you don't burn anything. Okay, now that we have some shirts printed off here, next thing we need to do is remove this tag. And you want to be careful because if you cut it improperly, what's going to end up happening is you will end up cutting the seam right here. So what I like to do is pull the tag up just slightly and get it close and kind of angle the scissors back a little bit. You just want to make sure not to cut the in, inside of your, your t-shirt. And so I'll follow that closely. Just cut it completely off. We could trim that little corner up just a touch. And this is a little bit of a tedious process. However, once you get going, it's not as bad. And now when you flip the collar around, you can't see that there was an actual tag in there. Now if you fold it back, sure you can. But if you guys have noticed, if you go to any Walmart, Target, anything like that, if you take a look at shirts that have a printed tag on the inside, you can take it off the hanger and fold it back and you'll actually still see that tag in the shirt so that's how you go about screen printing a tag and removing it and as you guys can see by not going too heavy-handed on the print you don't see any print 
here on the back side. Now I'm going to show you guys how to go about setting up the next tag and making sure you don't print your previous tag on your next shirt. Now that we have all of our smalls taken care of, now it's time to move over to the next print. So I'm just going to loosen up the screen here and this is why it's a good idea to have an open head screen printing press and what I mean by that is you don't have those sidebars that clamp onto the screen otherwise you wouldn't be able to do this. So I'm going to line up my center marks here, clamp everything down. Now I can pull up my tape. You want to be sure to use tape that's not going to leave behind a lot of tack otherwise that can cause some issues and I can just pull this right up and I'm ready to go with this print because I already have my center marks taped off. Now a, a good idea would be to tape off the back of this print if you are just using a standard palette. By doing so you're going to make sure that none of the ink from this previous print is going to get onto the inside of your shirt. Even though if you did a little bit it's not going to be as big of a deal because these are going on the inside of the shirt. But you just want to make sure that you're not printing in places you don't want to print. In this case, because I am just using a sleeve palette here, my print, my other small print, is off over here to the side. But I think I'm going to tape it off anyways, just for demonstration's sake. So I can take my tape, put it right over this print here. Now we don't have to worry about anything. Thanks for tuning in, I really appreciate it and I hope this was helpful. I'm going to get back at it because we have the rest of these shirts to do tag prints on. Till next time, we'll see you guys later.